Humans need the ability to identify colour for various reasons, from identifying whether or not a fruit is ripe to eat, to recognising venomous animals. What you may not know is that there's an awful lot of science behind how we see colour and how it affects our brain. Let's find out more. What is colour blindness? When a person is colorblind, it doesn't really mean they can't see color at all. Although there are some very rare cases of actual black and white vision, called monochromacy, the majority of sufferers are simply unable to differentiate between certain colors. The cause of colorblindness lies in the retina, which contains color-sensitive cone cells. Colorblindness occurs when one or more of these types of cone cells are faulty or simply not there. The most common form of this condition is red-green colorblindness which occurs when the red or green sensing cone cells are faulty. This means that sufferers are unable to see red or green properly and find it hard to differentiate colors that contain these shades. Why do leaves change color? Every autumn, the leaves on deciduous trees change from a vibrant green to golden yellows, oranges, and reds. The green on the leaves comes from chlorophyll, a pigment that absorbs sunlight, which is required for photosynthesis. The light energy, along with carbon dioxide and water, are used to produce oxygen, a waste product for the plants, and glucose. Glucose is a form of sugar that plants can use in respiration or can convert into other chemicals required for growth or energy storage. Chlorophyll continuously replenishes itself throughout summer, but in autumn the veins that transport water to the leaf close off, preventing chlorophyll from forming. This causes the yellow and orange pigments that were in the leaf all along to become visible and new red pigments to form. Why are flames different colors? The color of a flame is the result of chemicals being heated as well as the temperature. The light emitted in a flame is the energy released by electrons moving with the atoms in the heated substance. Electrons orbit the nucleus at a specific level called orbitals. Heat can provide an electron with enough energy to jump up to the next orbital and when the electron moves back to its original level, the extra energy is released as light. If the electrons travel a small distance, they give off energy, long wavelength light that we perceive as red. If they travel greater distance, they give off a high energy, short wavelength blue light. Each chemical's atoms have different arrangement of electrons and orbitals, which means they give off their own unique color when heated. Can color affect your mood? Color can have a big impact on the brain, influencing our mood and emotions. This is why designers are careful when they're choosing their colors they use for logos and products. The effects of colors are often a result of associations we make with them. For example, because red skin typically signals good circulation and fitness, the color is often associated with dominance. However, colors can also have a physical effect on the human body, as red has often been proven to increase the heart rate, helping to stimulate attention to detail. On the other hand, blue has been found to have a more calming effect, which is good for enhancing creativity. The effects of colors depends greatly on their context though, as some cultures interpret them in different ways. Why do some people see colors differently? Our brains are usually good at looking past the color of the light illuminating an object to determine that object's true color. However, some people may interpret the color of the light differently to others, causing their brains to perceive the object as a different hue. If you've got any questions about science, technology, or anything else, leave us a comment below and we'll try and answer it. For more of these random fact videos, hit the like and subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.